Yo, guys, today we have a fire on a plane, but I may or may not put it out. Some peeps are gonna burn. Hey guys, my name is Sidney and welcome back to another episode of Cameron Crew Simulator where today we're gonna fully max out another plane. We're gonna buy all the best stuff and we're gonna have another emergency. Now the last time we played this, when we did an emergency, we did the crash landed on water. Well today, we're gonna have a little bit of a fire in the mix right now boys. Let's see if we can handle a fire. And let's see if we can land this plane successfully. Now, if you are enjoying this game, guys, and this little mini series that we're doing, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you aren't already here, then make sure you do subscribe so you're notified when that next episode does come out. But we're going to create a flight right now. I'm hoping I can eventually get to a you know, maxed out five star. Now, I'm going to do this one all on my own. So I think I'm going to kind of slightly go for a small-ish plane. Now, there's a couple of variations I could pretty much go for. I could go for one that also has a little bit of business class. Now, let's say this one is a multiplayer plus two. I might be able to do it on my own. Or do I go with... Does any of ones have business class? No. So, 68 people. Do you reckon I could potentially go up to that? Or should I keep it simple and go for... I mean, this one's got 64, but apparently you make more money. Hmm. Interesting. Now, if we go for this, select it, boys. We could go to Santorino, the place that we have never been to before because it cost 18,000 skybugs right now. We're doing it, boys. We're doing it right now. Selecting you. And then we've got the best meals in economy. We've got the best drinks in economy right now. And purchase some pancakes. No, waffles, I mean. I can't afford the pancakes, so we'll just kind of get the waffles thrown in on the uh, the stuff too. Now, should I select everything or do you reckon that's a little bit too crazy? I'm gonna select everything right now. Give them ultimate options. They want it, boys, they are gonna get it right now. Give them everything on this flight, but the crazy thing will be, um, whatever they want, okay, there's only so much you can kind of select anyway. Whatever they want, it's gonna come flame grilled because there's gonna be a fire. <laughs> so select this, confirm all this right now. Right, uh, press done, and let's go for a um, you know a little bit of a cabin fire. So is it evil knowing that I know there's going to be a fire? Maybe, probably. We'll go for now then the classic male outfit. Boom, your boy is ready to fly. So let's go hit the skies right now. So I'll go for a, a you know a, a multiplayer of two plane, thinking I'm going to be able to do this all on my own. You never know. So, Mr. Sediax falls airline to send to radio. Uh, gate 5, which is... Oh, it's right it's right in front of me, guys. How could I even miss this right now? Now, I've never actually been on this plane, I don't think. So, I'm going to have a little quick little check out to see what it's all about right now. And just familiarize myself and get ready for a fire. Because, <laughs> you know, that is exactly what's going to happen right now. We're going to have a huge fire, Sediac. So, um, Lego, let's go right now. Uh, you, you guys coming on board? Yeah? You guys ready? How many more people is there? Are these, are these last few people right now? Oh, it looks like a super busy airport today right now. Okay, we start boarding business class. They're now on their way, so we will get them rock and rolling. Already all settled for this beautiful flight. So I don't think I'm going to have the full 868 people on board right now. I should be able to handle this plane all on my own. Should be able to. You never know this game. You never know right now. Now, do I need to offer these folios drinks as they get in? I can't remember. Is that just like a, like a, a first class thing? We'll soon find out. Right, how many more is there? Your folios... Okay, there's not that many. There's not that many, boys. So the last one sits down. Yes, and they all... One drinks. So as we start serving the economy, oh, get the economy on board. First class drinks. What you want, boy? What do you want right now? This dude wants a water. Enjoy that water. Excuse me. What would you like? Uh, a water as well. Oh, okay. We already gave it to her because <laughs> it kind of I double clicked that accident. Right. So this lady here wants a sprite. 
What would you like, madame? No, thank you. Would you not want to wait? Give Sprite. I was giving the wrong person the Sprite right now. Would you like to drink a ginger ale? There we go. And you, madame, what would you like to drink? A Coca-Cola. Where is it? There it is. Right now, we've got so many variations and options. I've got to be giving good service at this point, right? I have to be. Would you like to drink, sir? A Sprite. They all want the Sprite today, boys. They all want the Sprite. So, if it's a drink, sir? Uh, a coffee. Okay. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. This dude wants to be well awake for this whole entire flight right now. Another Sprite. Guys, they're loving the Sprite on this flight. Right, would you want a water? Let's go. Do you want a water? What do you want? Uh, they want a hot chocolate. Okay, this person... One person's staying awake with, um, you know, a coffee. One person's going to sleep with a hot chocolate right now. So we've got everybody Hello, on board. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain from the flight deck. Welcome aboard the flight. We're expecting a smooth ride today, so the seatbelt yeah, yeah. sign should remain off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks for flying. Right, give the Pepsi. And once again, welcome aboard. And then sort everybody out. Sit upright. Tray tables. Sit upright. Um, buckle your seatbelt. 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 Tray table. And you, seatbelt. Look at this. I am the world's best cabin crew. I could be hired on any flight right now and give them a, a five-star quality service. So, all the cabin stuff all done? Yes. I've now got to do the trash. So, appreciate it, guys, for having a nice drink in uh, business class and watching the peasants walk past you right now. Yeah, I know your games. I know your games. But I'd like to know if um, anybody's feeling a little bit cold today, there will be some in-flight um, warmth going on. I won't tell you exactly what it is, but, uh, you know, it'll be a nice little surprise for you. And now we're going to sort these folios out. So, you, seatbelt. Uh, you, seatbelt. Right, I'm assuming they're all seat belts. Is it tray table? Even if she ain't got a tray table, you? You don't even got a tray table. Get out of here, boy. Get out of here right now. All right, boom. I wonder if there's like a way you can tell if it's a tray table or not. Even if you can't see the tray table. Hmm. That would be interesting. Now, I think everyone's done. We've now got to close the door. And we're going to prepare for takeoff. Now, should I be doing the uh, the flight safety kind of demo? Maybe I should have done. We'll take off anyway, guys. We'll take off anyway. So this is where it's going to happen. This is where we're going to go into the air. Uh, don't look at me. Don't look at me right now, lady. Don't look at me. Right. This is your captain from the we're here. We have reached our cruising altitude. We have reached our cruising altitude right now, guys. Back, and this... And enjoy the flight. This is where it happens. So, we're going to start serving everybody right now. We'll start with, um, we'll start with food because we got some new delicious foods on the go. By new delicious foods, what I actually mean is we got some waffles. <laughs> but we've got lots of options to choose from. What would you like to eat? She would like the eggs and bakey. Wakey, wakey. Wait, where's the eggs and bakey? I can't see it. Oh, there it is. See, there's so many options right now. I'm going to get so confused in trying to find what they want. This person wants the gripes right now, boys. What would you like to eat? Uh, eggs and bacon. Oh, man, they're all over the eggs and bacon today. Anything to eat for you, madame? She would like the steak. Whew. Well, some people are having grapes. Some people are having eggs and bakey. That person wants the steak. This person wants the chocolate cake. They are having the most random meals I have ever seen. The most. This dude wants lobster. Could you imagine sitting next to a dude who's eating fish on a plane? That would not be great, would it? <laughs> it would not be great. Um, okay, so anything to eat for you, madame? Would you like the salad? Salad for you? And for you, anything to eat? Uh, the bunt cake, if that's how you even say that name. Appreciate it. Right. All of first class has got their food. So let's sort first class out then with their drinks. Because, you know peasants at the back they couldn't wait they couldn't wait right now right what would you like to drink you were like a oj nice what would you like to drink madame a hot chocolate nice and then going back a bit more 
Anything for you, madame? A sprite? There we go. Have a sprite. Enjoy that sprite. And then for you, what do you want? Oh, double sprite. I'm telling you guys. Let me know in the comment section right now. When you're serving all these drinks, what is the most common asked for drink? I truly believe it's the sprite. Everybody wants the sprite right now. Look, this dude wants the sprite too. It's like nine times out of ten, it's probably a sprite. It's probably a sprite. A ginger ale. Damn. Right. All of business class now done. Yes, they are. So we're going to pull it now. Skirt, skirt. And we're going to pull out the economy drinks. So we'll move along right now doing economy drinks. Um, hello. <laughs> These guys are just staring at a blank wall. Nice. Uh, would you like anything to drink? Uh, he would like a Kofi. Enjoy your Kofi. Uh, you, what would you like? A water. Have a peasant water. The water we serve the peasants is tap. The water we serve business is spring mineral. Uh, I don't know what this person wanted there. I wasn't even paying attention. Pepsi! For you. You, sir, what would you like? Anything to drink? Uh, an orange juice. Do you know what? Even the peasants have really good food and drink options, don't they? They really do. They really do. Now, I wonder if in the future there might be an update where, as I'm handing out drinks, we're charging them. Because, you know, like, some airlines, like, you know, maybe, like, business class, like, drinks and food are included. But, like, um, maybe for, you know, the lower economy classes, you have to pay for your own drinks and food. Maybe, you know... That is um, something that might be in a future update, so I can be earning dollar dollar. And like, if I give, like, I'll earn more money if I give them the lobster versus eggs and bacon. That would be good. That would be really good. Right, ginger ale, bam. Uh, anything to drink? Pepsi. There we go. So we're making our way slowly through the cabin right now, and now it's just a matter of countdown to when the fire is going to approach. And these folios don't even know it. They're just enjoying it. She's like, yeah, I'm going to enjoy my delicious Coca-Cola. And she does not even realize what is about to go down. So how it works for an emergency, you've got, you've got to do like a certain percentage of the whole cabin. You've got to serve a certain percentage of them for it to pretty much kick in. So interact, drink. I'm not sure what the percentage is because obviously it's hard to figure and work it out. Because you always have like a different amount of people in um, on your airplane. And then you have a different type of demand. Because not all of them want drink and food. So it's hard to figure it all out. Sprite. There we go. Back on the sprites right now. Back on the sprites. Hot chocolate. Boom. And you. What would you like? An orange juice. Enjoy it. And you, a Pepsi. Enjoy the Pepsi. Drink. Sprite. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's always Sprite. Uh, Sprite and, you know what, Sprite and ginger ale. This flight is a lot of Sprites and ginger ales right now. I will admit that. Look, another ginger ale. Do you know what, I think ginger ale might be slowly taking over. <laughs> I honestly think that right now. A Pepsi for you. Right, this dude over here has got those crazy eyes. He needs to calm down. Uh, a water. Yep. A water sounds good, dude, with your crazy eyes. It does sound pretty good. Uh, drink. A Sprite. We're back on it with the Sprites. And then for you, drink. How? Chow. Colette. Nice. Um, drink. A coffee. So we're coming to the last few drink sections right now. And then we'll blitz through the food. And then before you know it, there's fire. So much fire. So drinks are now all taken care of. I'll now slowly go through doing all the food. And then it's pretty much just a matter of time before the fire appears. We're burning, burning, burning. And um, I got two options. I could either let the plane completely burn. Or, or, I could pull it out. Which one do I go with? Hmm. That's going to be interesting. 
Here we go. Here we go. There is a fire in the cabin. Can you see the? Can you see the fire from the outside? No. Oh damn! Okay, it's a big fire. You know what? You can see the fire from the outside. Oh no! People are people are getting hurt. Um. Um. <laughs> Does the, oh, the fire low key spreads. Yo, do I let the fire like continue to spread just to kind of see what happens? Shall we? Shall we see what happens if the fire spreads right now? All right, it's moving. I got, oh, yep, there we go. It's definitely moving. Do we, um. I, I don't know what to do. Do I just let the, the, the plane burn down? Do I just let it burn, baby burn? Disco Inferno? Because it is low key um, on fire right now, guys. It is low key on fire. <laughs> and at some point, it's going to start burning me. Um, are we about to get. Oh no, look, look. We're losing passengers as the fire makes its way through the cabin. Does it burn me? No. Because I am invincible. I am invincible right now. It is slowly spreading. I've actually killed people. This is not good. This is not good, guys. <laughs> There's me trying to get that five class quality service. Um, Sadiac. People are dying right now in your plane. So much fire. I mean, I could put it out a little bit, but it, it, just, it just pretty much comes back straight away. Uh, guys, do not panic. What you see in front of you right now is just an illusion. It's not really hot. It's not really going to burn you. Do not panic. You guys, panic. <laughs> oh, snap. My, my plane is legit on fire. I have a fire on board, boys. I have a fire on board, boys. Right, let's put this out. Let's try and put this out right now. Right, here we go. Straight down the middle aisle. It's coming back as quick as I can put it out. Maybe I shouldn't let it go this far. Is it all gone? I think it's all gone, right? Yo, there's only two people left. In business class. Yikes. Um, so, sorry that you don't have to witness death. But, um... You survived, right? <laughs> oh, do I feel bad? A little bit. A little bit. But does that mean less trash to collect? Yes. So do I feel good? Yes. Um, I still feel bad, though. <laughs> oh, and it's empty the trash right now. I can't believe what just happened. Cannot believe what just happened right now. Pure evilness. Pure and utter evilness right now. Hey, do be evil. Senyak, do be evil. Right, collect all this stuff. There we go. Flight attendants, please prepare the cabin for arrival. Now we just acted like nothing happened. <laughs> we just um, put your seat about on. Put your, um, you've done that. Tray table, you've done that. Sit upright, you've done, done that. The, what's your problem, then? Right, boom. His, pro his problem is probably because he's burnt so much. That's probably what his issues is, isn't it? He's, he's burnt to a crisp. Boom, boom, boom. Sit upright. Tray table. Tray table. Tr oh, no, wrong button. Tray table. There's a lot of tray tables, isn't there? Yo, I've never had this many tray tables on a flight before. Uh, tray table. Seat belt. Seat belt. Have we done everybody? Oh no, what's wrong with you right now? Tray table. And you! Is it you? Seat belt? Yes. We can have prepare for landing. So as we now land the plane. Oh my goodness me. The fire is terrifying, isn't it? The fire is low-key terrifying. I didn't actually know you can actually lose passengers. I'm probably going to get like a zero safety rating right now. I'm probably going to get like a zero safety rating. It is what it is. <laughs> so, um, right, we all done. We're going to wait for the big thing to connect. Oh, no, we're in Santorini. Is it like different then? Because we've never been here before, have we? Ooh. Ooh, this place is looking big and wide right now. This is looking nice. Nice. Also, s s thank you for flying, Senna, yeah. Um, third degree burns are all, all are free. It's all part of the service. 
Your nearest hospital is located just outside the airport, and you might need it. You might need it. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, but what type of rating do you think they'll give me for this? Do you think they'll give me a good one? Do you think I'll get a bad rating? I mean, how many people died? About, like, ten. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get a bad rating, guys. I'm probably gonna get a bad rating. We'll see what they, uh, we'll see what they say. But I think I did pretty good. I think I handled the, situ uh, the situation professionally. I was very responsive when I decided to be. I mean, I did put the fire out, right? I did put the fire out. What more do they want? What more do they want right now? I put the fire out. Leave me alone! Leave me alone. Is that everybody off right now? That is everybody off the plane. So... Can I get my rating, guys? Can I get my money? Oh, what if I don't make no money because of... Um, what happened? That could be a thing. That Loki could be a thing right now. That's not good. That's definitely not good. Right, give me my rating. Let's have done with it. So did I arrive on time? No, we arrived on time, guys. We arrived on time right now. What more do you need? Seriously. What more do you need? Maybe. Um, I don't know. Giving me my cash? My rating? I'm unrateable. Oh, no. I'm low-key unrateable. They don't know what to do. Can't create a flight when you're in one. They don't know how to rate me, guys. I'm unrateable at this point. So, what do you think? Did I do good? Did I handle that fire response perfectly? I don't know. I let you guys decide. I let you guys decide right now. Do would they would they trust me to do another flight? Probably not. Probably not. But guys. I think we'll end it for here. I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye.